Next up, Lalit Darunte in chemical engineering on CO2 capture from air. <coughs> Since the Industrial Revolution, CO2 concentration in air has increased by 50%. It has never been so high in last 800,000 years and that is being linked with the global climate change. Just to give you an idea of the scale, we emit 4 million tons of CO2 every day. If you look at this picture, vehicular traffic and industrial plants are two major sources of CO2. And while we have a well-defined mechanism to capture CO2 from the smokestack, that process only addresses half of the CO2 and it's also expensive. So my CO2 dissertation aims to capture CO2 directly from air. Our vision is we are going to develop a system that can capture CO2 and we can set this system anywhere on the world. While we realize our vision, there are many challenges. Do we have materials that can capture high amount of CO2? Can we design a process for practical applications? Can we make this CO2 something useful? And finally, while we are making this CO2 into something useful, what is the cost of capturing? So to answer our first question, we looked at variety of materials and through a systematic molecular engineering, we enhance their CO2 capture. Our material, for example, just 20 pounds of this material can capture entire CO2 out of this large auditorium. But just the high capacity is not enough. Their stability is equally important because something that works really great in dry Arizona may not work at all in humid Florida. Considering this and many other factors, we are designing our materials for high capacity, faster CO2 capture, and high stability. Now, just to capture one pound of CO2 from air, we have to process 77,000 gallons of air. That means we need a system that can capture so much air and porous structure, like porous scaffold here, is an ideal system for that. So an in important advancement in this area is how do we engineer our materials with this porous scaffold? We looked at surface chemistry and we successfully engineered our material on this porous scaffold and showed that the performance can be enhanced 100 times. And this 100 times enhancement is important to reduce the cost. Finally, we are looking at converting this CO2 into a bio-based plastic and our preliminary analysis indicates that the whole process of capturing CO2 into this bio-based plastic can be very competitive compared to existing technology. I want all of you to think about for a second, fight against climate change is real and it's also a tough one. But if you are open, if you are innovative and if you are focused, we can convert this CO2 and into something useful and that is something also makes a business sense. Thank you. Thank you, Elite.